Hello there, Aquarius. Welcome. Well, we're going to jump right into this reading. See what's going on for you guys. No messing around here. What is happening for Aquarius? What is going on? Let's see what the general energy is we have. Ooh, the world. A brilliant success, a time of joyful accomplishments and spiritual enlightenment. Freedom. Do whatever you want. Be proud of yourself. You're completing a cycle to start something new. Doing a good job here. And then we have, ooh, we have the King of Wands. So this King of Fire. We have motivational, inspiring, theatrical, ambitious. Take a leadership role. Step into the spotlight. Public speaking. Keeping your eyes on the big picture. Communicate your vision. Don't be sensitive to criticism. So it looks like you're starting a new cycle. You're stepping out in the world and you're getting to get attention here. Let me get a charm for this King of Fire. King, oh, something's stuck in my nail. What is it? Oh, so you're going to have some fun too. <clears throat> we have the, um, <clears throat> this is, I get this up here where you can see it. Okay, this is a little boy and girl on a bike. So you're going to go out and have some fun. Might be going on a little road trip or traveling somewhere maybe. I would say movement. There's definitely some kind of movement of having some fun here. <clears throat> With somebody special. Okay, and then we have, ooh, the six of fire. <clears throat> okay, someone wants to speak to you. Here we go. Victory. Wise choices that bring public recognition and success. Promotions, awards, and scholarship. Okay, you're coming into a new phase here. It looks really good. You're getting attention. You might be in the spotlight somehow. Um, you're having a lot of fun, and people are noticing that. Oh, nice. Bomb deck, we have the Two of Air. So you're trying to make a decision. Two of um, Swords. And this is being unable or will, unwilling to make a decision. Following your own heart rather than trying to make others happy. Pretending there's no problem. Overanalyzing a situation. Okay, you're stuck because you're overanalyzing something. Okay, now let's clarify. Why do we have the world here for your first card? That is great, though. You're completing some cycles. Start something new. You're done with something. Okay, let's see. We have nine of water. Ooh, your wish comes true. Con concerns fall away or fade away. A love of life. Okay, so you're getting your dreams come true. That's this um, wish fulfillment card. So by ending the cycle, starting some, something new is really what you wanted. I like that. Nice. Okay, what about this king of fire? We have... For a fire, contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project. You might be marrying a king of uh, fire, a king of wands. Wow, because this is commitment. Or you're going to be a nice commitment, but you're going to have fun. Might travel with this person too. Okay, so what about the six of fire? Three of ear. Great sadness. Take time to heal. The need to give, forgive yourself or others. So you're going to get recognition from something. But in the meantime, you are also healing from something. So this might be helping you heal. Whatever this is, it's probably taking your mind off of this pain here. Three of ears, like three of swords. could be thir three, three of swords. It could be like a third-party situation that you were involved with that maybe you didn't want to be involved with. It could be a connection that either one of you guys cheated or maybe not. Maybe it's someone else that came in. And broke you guys up. And it could be anything. Anything outside of the connection. It could be someone's always working. And didn't have time for the other. Or maybe it might have been distant. A physical distance from you guys. So you couldn't see each other enough. So you broke up. Or it could have been someone had an addiction. Or, or it could have been family members broke you up. Friends broke you up. Something came in between you. We have the Six of Fire again. Yes. Victory. Good news. Is on its way. Public recognition and work. So you're definitely getting recognized. Whatever you're doing here. You're getting recognized. And this is helping you heal here. The three of air. Okay, now. Let's see what else we have for Aquarius. What else is going on, please? Okay, here. Okay, this came up again. The two of swords. Being unable or unwilling to make a decision. Follow your own heart rather than trying to make others happy. Pretend there is no problem. Over analyzing situations. So, you have a decision to make. You might be a little stuck. You're not seeing anything. Let's see. What else do we have here? Okay, we have the five of water. Five of cups. Focusing on the negative. Things are not turned out the way you anticipate. Forgiveness or self or others. Everything happens for a reason. Look for the hidden blessing. So whatever happened here with the three of swords, either you or somebody else is focusing on the lost and not seeing the possibility for these other two cups. 
So we're like, you got the three here, you got the two here. You got the three and the two here. Not seeing it, you know? It's <laughs> These are like go together. This is the loss of three cups, and this is the two cups that aren't being seen. Someone is really blocking something out. Fives are changes, though. So this too shall pass. Oh, and it's coming in ten of cups. A happy marriage, happy ever after, emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your children, raising children wisely and successfully, people you can trust. So you're coming into Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is like Nine of Cups with the Ace of Cups. So your wish fulfillment plus the Ace of Cups, new beginning with Ten of Cups. And then we have the Three of Wands on the bottom here. Planning for our long term, abundance from past choices, pride in your success of your labors, be patient as you decide what's next see now this looks like it goes right with the six of wands here twice you're definitely going to get kind of recognition or something's coming in for you oh sorry about that oh my god I'm making all these noises i'm so sorry <sighs> i knocked my crystal off over here okay i want that there bang my cards i'm getting too excited i'm sorry <laughs> okay now why is a two of air two of swords here why is that here <clears throat> We have King of Air, brilliant, impartial, professional, diplomatic. Speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice. Balance mental and emotional considerations. Wow. This could be your card here. King of Air. So that's King of Swords. That's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Or you could, someone could be coming in that wants to speak their mind with confidence to you. Or they might be helping you in some way. Let's see. We have here oh a leaf turnover new leaf so that's what be there's their growth here something's happening here with the leaves i think there's growth of some sort okay now why do we have this five of water release archangel azrael a-z-r-a-e-l the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. This is like the death card, Scorpio energy. So you're releasing something and you're changing and you're moving on. It seems like you're doing a lot of that in the world. It's ending a cycle, start something new. You're releasing something. Maybe you're releasing this guilt or whatever's going on with this card here with this loss. So you're releasing it. And then when you release something, when you end something, something new comes in. So time to move on. Let's see. Why do we have the Ten of Cups? Ten of fire. Too much work. Accept help from others. Life is out of balance. Stress-related health concerns. Okay, now you have both tens. Tens are endings of stuff, too. So you're ending these burdens because you have the Ten of Cups. This is clarifying this. The Ten of Cups is now coming because you probably were working too hard, doing too much. You're going to get help or, or your load is going to lighten somehow. Something's going to shift. Something's going to change because you do have the world card. You're changing. You do have the release card. <clears throat> so life is getting better. It may not feel it yet, but it is. Ooh, and ten of water. Wow. Look at these tens. You're definitely on a new cycle. All this whole reading is endings, new beginnings. And here's the ten of water. Uh, so this is the ten of cups again. So you got the ten of cups twice. You have the six of wands twice. I love this reading. So it's a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. This is a wonderful reading. I'm so happy for you guys. Let's do another roll. Let's see what else we can get. Aquarius. What else do we have coming in? Okay, this is the Eight of Swords, but it's in reverse. So this is um the illusion of entrapment, a lack of self confidence, the that makes you feel helpless, being afraid to take action. Take responsibility for your life now. This is in reverse, so this you, you're coming out of this energy. You no longer feel trapped. Nice. Not mentally conflicted or trapped. And then we have justice. Yes. Right after justice, Libra energy. So we have be impartial, objective, stand up for what you believe. Try to see all sides of a situation. You will win if your position is one of integrity. Absolutely. Of course, Aquarius is one of the integrity. Let's see. What else we have here? We have... Ooh, the Knight of Wands. Ooh. ooh. Passionate, confident, charismatic, restless, events inquiring, immediate action. Trust your instincts. Stay focused. A passionate relationship. Ooh, la, la. Okay, and then we have... Ooh, and this is happening quick, baby. This is Eight of Wands. So we have 
too much going on, stress caused by many positive opportunities, unexpected events, or rapid change, the ability to multitask, business travel. Now, when this said here, stress caused by too many positive opportunities, this is this. When this person's coming, you're focused on your work. And when they come in, they're going to mess your, you know, they're going to topple your apple cart here. Because <laughs> you, you're you focused on doing what you want to do here. Now they're coming in there, and you're going to be taken. They're going to sweep you off your feet, I think. Let's see. Why do we have this eight of, eight of air, eight of swords in reverse? Oh, I got to put something on the knight. So let's get a charm for the knight of fire. Well, we have an elephant. This is big. That's why I think when I see the elephant is big. Also, it could be someone from past memories. Elephants never forget. This person can't forget you. Okay, and this is big. Big, big, big. Okay, now what about um this eight of air in reverse? We have queen of air, independent, experienced, realistic, witty. And we have objective, decision making, clearing away all that no longer serves you seeing the humor in a situation absolutely and it's right under the king of air so we have a match set here you're you're going to be um, also connecting with someone that you're both on the same wavelength it could be that this is bringing a passion into this connection here with this card here or it could be that this is a different person too but i feel like you have a very strong connection of you know air signs need the mental stimulation you're getting it because you have the king and the queen of air here let's get a charm we have oh okay could be a taurus we have a bull coming in this calls to be stubborn or it could be taking the bull by the horns or um it feels very powerful very strong very um stable because it's earth energy okay let's see here what about the justice why the justice here Four of air. Okay. Time to rest or take a vacation. Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. Now, this is the justice. You have to make a decision. Things are going to balance out. Take your time. Don't rush it. So, you might be meditating or you might be going on vacation. You might be going on vacation with the queen and king of air, Michael Leone, or it might be with this passionate um, knight of wands. And we have five of fire. Com com Completing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. So you might be also comp uh, be in competition for someone or with someone. Could be at work. And then we have seven of fire. Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. Choose your battle wisely. Yeah, so don't jump into anything here, any kind of battle. Make sure you choose what you what you need to fight about. So or defend. But we do have, and especially with the five of fire, it might be something going on where you have to defend something. But this is like, I feel like very strong competition. Maybe this strong competition for your love, or maybe a strong competition in work or, or whatever you're doing for a living here. Okay, let's do the word. What's the word? Okay, first we have the king of wands, right? Is that king of fire, king of wands? Right? Yep. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. Yep. Nope. 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 Okay, let's see what we have. What do we have here with the two on the bike here we have reunite okay family caring okay so we have a caring family here so this could be someone that you're married to or someone that you're you're getting together with family having some fun a lot of passion um could be a person that wants to be in your family or or your family care, or whatever. It's family involved, it's caring, and it's reuniting. So however it works for you, it's going to be different for everyone. What about this um, king of air? Why do we have the king of air here? We have, ooh, a tower. Regret. Alone. Ooh. So something happened here that broke down everything. <clears throat> there we have the tower. Surprise. Sudden change. Something came out of the blue. And now someone's alone and they regret it. That might be the person trying to come towards you. This might be your energy. This might be your person's energy. <clears throat> or it might be your vice versa. That made that... that oh. This person could be turning over a new leaf because of the regret what happened before. And they left you alone or they're alone and they don't want to be alone. Wherever it works. Let's see. What about this queen of air? Freedom. 
freedom of drama confused gift okay so this i feel this is your energy i feel this is your person coming in so it's like you have freedom of this drama now you're confused because this person might be coming in with a gift and you, you don't know where they're coming from because you you didn't want to be in the drama because it might have been that the drama the family caused drama before and now they're trying to reunite you or, or something like that it's not gonna be for everyone so let's see what about the page uh, page the night of fire we have very soon instigate soulmate okay so this person's going to come in they figure you're, you're soulmates and they might instigate something with you they might even instigate a fight wow yeah because something here the conflict or something bothers some details they're going to instigate something just to get you going probably to prove to you that you're so i don't know that sounds very weird but that's what i'm getting that someone thinks they should instigate something maybe it gets you all fired up <laughs> Does that make sense? Oh, I don't know. But that's what I'm getting. I'm just relaying with the information I'm getting. And when it comes after it comes out, it's like, really? <laughs> okay, let's see here. What signs do we have here for Aquarius? What are the signs, please? What signs can Aquarius be dealing with? I can fit them over here. I think I can. Put Cancer. Slides over a little bit. Just a little bit. We have Cancer and... Gemini, Scorpio, Taurus. Well, two together. We have Aries, Leo. Oh, okay, that was the last one there. Okay, and then we have Capricorn. So this could be placements in your chart, placement of other people's charts, past, present, future. Have Cancer, Gemini, Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, Leo, and Capricorn. Now, let's see what letters we have. I do 11 letters, the initial first name, last name, and then if you get both the first and last name, you know someone's middle name, get that initial, all the better. Past, present, and future. And we also have your own initials. Let's see what we have. We have W, D, 40, I know, no, N, T, G, N, a B Y okay just need two more A F okay so the initials we the letters we have for you sorry not the initials the letters we have for you today are W D N T G N A B Y A F now let's see what names we have for Aquarius. What are the names? What are the names that want to come out? If you guys want to enter any names in here, uh, these are the names that um, you can see under my channel, under um, the description, that um, I do healing on this, on these names every single day. And that, those are the names I pull for the for the names at the end. And there's the instructions there. You just put two first names, only first names, because I won't take them unless they're just, and just two for, for comment, as many times you want. But the instructions are there if you want to enter some names. Okay, let's see. Stavian, S-T-A-I-V-E-N. And J and Jordan J O R D E N, and we have Yashna Yashna, not Yanisha Y A N I S H A, and then we have Lori and Elsa and Laura Teresa T E R E S A, and Kayla and Cerdy, C E R D Y. Let me have here. I need one more short one. Gotta do 11, at least 11. More is okay. And Anthony, okay. And just so you know, a lot of times I get people um, making complaints because it might be no normal names or, or whatever they call normal here or are making comments that, you know, 
about the names? Well, because you guys give them to me. I don't pull them out thin air. These are all the names that have been submitted. So it's all by the viewers. So just so you know, when you complain about certain names or something. Okay, so whatever you give me, that's what I have. All right, so now we have the names, right? Okay, good. All right, guys, so remember these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't try to make things fit. And I love you guys so much. I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.